What's the biggest problem with making a 2D game when you don't have art and you're not an artist? You can't make the game. You need art for every single thing you do. You can't create a telegraphed attack because the art is doing the telegraphing. This means you can't even playtest the components of your game that you kind of know how to make. This is a big issue in making a 2D metroidvania that's a little too ambitious. Like, what are you even supposed to do? Oh... I didn't even think about that. Now that we've identified that the goal of this video is to make a 3D game, I think that the most logical place to start would be creating a character model in Blender. So I made my first character model in Blender by following a tutorial. I also learned some of the other basics of Blender and added bones to the bro. Though there's this really weird thing that's happening with the linking of the bones to the model, but I don't think that's gonna be a problem. And quite frankly, what the heck be doing on with that neck? Next, it's time to do texture painting. This is the most intense, masculine, manly, and very cool part of the video. Wow, something has finally exceeded the amount of errors in my crumbling social life. But before we import our model into Unity, I thought it would be a good idea to set up some basic movement first. Aside from just walking and jumping, I decided to add a dodge mechanic. My inspiration for this decision was because I've been really into Bloodborne recently. I even made a video of me playing the DLC on my gaming channel. Please watch my Bloodborne gaming video. And now, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's see if I learned anything from working on my previous game. <gasps> With this new inventory system in place, I implemented healing. Too bad the inventory system is garbage and hard-coded. It's time to undertake a journey. I'm gonna learn what lists are. I figured out what lists are. They're actually pretty simple. I don't even really know how I didn't know how to use them. So remember that very obvious foreshadowing about how the bones don't link right? Well, this has been an ongoing problem for more than two months at this point. I've tried everything. In fact, I've tried so many different things that I'm too lazy to write any of them into the script. So you're just going to have to trust that I tried everything. <laughs> but it turns out that all I had to do was apply the mirroring before attaching the bones. It took two months to figure out that I needed to press a single button. I want to die. The next thing on the agenda is animation. At least, that's what I had planned to be on the agenda. But I got a little sidetracked with an existential crisis about what I even wanted the game to be. I started out wanting it to be a Sekiro clone. Then, when I got addicted to Bloodborne, I wanted it to be a Bloodborne ripoff. But now, I just don't really know. Though right now, I've decided on creating a simple platforming map and just experimenting in general, in order to follow the fun, as they say. I ended up just adding some more to the level, while trying to figure out what the mechanics of the game could potentially be. I made a moving platform that could move in any direction, including vertically, but I was still unsure of what would make the game fun, until genius struck. OCEAN A rising body of water would encroach on the player as they tried to reach the finish line at the top of a mountain. I knew this was a good idea, because this gameplay mechanic is the best part of any game it's in. This is great because it adds a sense of urgency, and it makes it so that these weird side paths wouldn't lead to power-ups that would expand the game world, but would rather be risk-reward pathways that would let you get much farther ahead of the OCEAN if you were skilled enough. Plus, because you're moving quickly through the world, you don't have time to see how garbage everything looks. This is like a win-win-win-win- <laughs> This is like a win-win-win-win idea. After coming up with that genius idea, I decided I wanted to make my game look good because it most certainly does not feel good. So I installed post-processing and thought that I was gonna have an easy time. I had done this before. Post-processing is something I'm good at. I've watched tutorials, I added it to my previous game. But alas, my dumbassery strikes again. I spent two days looking for the button that enables post-processing when that button didn't exist. 
and instead I was turning off all of my effects when I thought I had been turning them on. <laughs> so if it has not yet been fully established, I plan on this game being uh, a, a, a platformer now. So, no more blood for it. So just, just keep that in mind as I continue to talk about the progress I have been making. Now, back to the gameplay department. I had plans to add a lot of movement abilities, like a dash, a wall jump, and a double jump. And all of these are fine, but they do have a downside. All they do is increase the horizontal and vertical distance the character can go before touching the ground again. Which means they aren't very interesting. This is because most of the challenges I can create for the player with these abilities is just jumping over a gap, or an even bigger gap. And my solution to this problem was elegant, pristine, and epic. I decided to add this sick ass bow. The arrows can activate buttons, which can move things and open doors. You also go into slow motion if you draw the bow in the air, and there's these super cool visual effects. This took me five hours to code. Whoa ho ho, what do you know? I have no idea how to wrap up this video. I mean, I, I guess I guess I could just like summarize. I could just summarize what happened yeah, in the video. So I originally planned on this game being Bloodborne when I started working on it. Uh, and I developed an inventory system, a combat system, a bunch of other stuff. I started working with Pro Builder to make my first level. It was garbage. And then I tried to do animation in Blender, but I was having a lot of trouble with that. So I uh, decided to not pursue a combat game since that would require a lot of enemy animations. And I was pretty confused about what I wanted the game to be at this point, because I wanted something easy to make. So I decided to work on a small platforming map. Uh, Burger King Foot led it. And even though I started working on a platforming map, I was still pretty unsure of like what would make this as a platformer unique and interesting and fun, because it wasn't fun to just jump and then like dash in the world. Like that wasn't super engaging. So I decided to add the ocean, which would rise very quickly and make it so that the player would have to go through the levels quickly, and that's what would make them fun, that you have to complete them very quickly. But I decided to not include the ocean in that way. It's still in the game, and there's going to be some segments where it chases after you. But what I've discovered is that it would be really complicated to make it so that if you died, you respawned at like a good point, and you didn't just respawn at the very beginning. And so I decided to make the game a little bit different from that, where there's only like a small segment of the game where you have to do it very quickly. And finally, I added the bow and arrow to the game, which can activate things and is, is going to be involved in like all of the levels. I personally think it's pretty cool. I'm very smart for coming up with it, so... Congratulate me in the comments, please. Oh, and before I finish this recap and uh, the video ends, I have one last thing to talk about. Level design. I remember when I was nine years old and my itty bitty ape brain told me that I wanted to be a game designer because I like video games and coming up with ideas is very easy, isn't it? Well, it turns out I was completely wrong because coming up with solid ideas that can then be expanded upon and made more complex and can be added to other mechanics interestingly, it's really hard to do that. I have this notebook though where I've been writing down one level, at least one level, every single night and the notebook, it's actually almost full now so I have a lot of levels so that's probably where the next video is going to pick up. I, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a dislike if you're a true gamer. Uh, 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 st pause, the, stop the, cut the recording.